Hey, Fragus family, I'm Daver. And I'm Carlos. And we're and the we're Fragus Bros. Bros. Coming at you again with another review, this time again with guest host Carlos. How are you doing, Carlos? I'm great. How are you doing, buddy? Doing great. Thrilled to have you again. Great to be back. And today we are reviewing Bond number 9B9. So let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2015. It's classified as an Oriental spicy. Notes are citrus, saffron, gardenia leaves, jasmine, orchid, agarwood, amber, sandalwood, oak moss, musk, and vetiver. Now, Carlos, what'd you get of longevity out of this? I got crazy, ridiculous longevity. <laughs> <laughs> like, like eight hours. Like it lasts on my skin eight hours at work. Yeah, I got I got excellent longevity as well. Um, I got more than that. I probably got about ten. Uh, but that's excellent. What about projection? <laughs> monster, monster, <laughs> monster projection. <laughs> Wait till you. Can I tell you about the comments that I got at work? Yeah, I also got really great projection. It was in the excellent range, I thought. It, it really was strong. I find a lot of Bond fragrances are strong on me, too. Me, too. I, they wear very well on my skin. Season, I think this would work really well for spring and summer and daytime, mostly. And purpose, I think this is good for casual and I think good for work. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's, it's very, very strong. This is not a shy fragrance by any means, bro. Not at all. So, Carlos, what does this remind you of? I like it a lot better when I wore it from the decant that you sent to me. When I tested it from the sample, I wasn't... I didn't hate it. I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. I liked it a lot better when I actually wore it with about four sprays. But the only problem was I didn't realize how strong it was. Mm. When I got to work, my manager says... He's like sniffing around. He says... What is that smell? And he comes sniffing around me and he couldn't figure it out. Another girl says, what smells like alcohol in here? <laughs> this, was, this was later at lunchtime. Everybody's eating food. So my scent was projecting over the food and she was wow. outside of the lunchroom. She says, who smells like alcohol like that? Later on in the day, she says, it's you. It was you. People smelled it all around me all day long from wow. the morning to the afternoon. Like the whole day at work, it lasted. I didn't put any more on. <laughs> you didn't want to freshen up? No. <laughs> After it, lunch? This, this didn't, I, I typically do. You know, my, you know my routine. But not with this one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Guess everybody out. But I liked it. I, I, I think it smells nice. It's, it opens with a little bit of citrus, which quickly gives way to florals, mainly gardenia. Yeah. I didn't get any of the oud, um, but it just lasts and lasts and lasts. Yeah, this is this is a very strong fragrance. To me, this is not my thing. You know, this to me smells on the feminine side. So sure. right away, it it kind of throws me off. Listen, the florals definitely do come through, but they're not in your face that much. You you have a problem with florals, Mister. I don't have a problem with florals. There's just certain white florals that just yeah. always go old lady on me. <laughs> this doesn't smell old lady. I have to disagree with you. Maybe feminine, but not old lady. But yeah, this was intended to be a very unisex fragrance, and I really think that they missed it on that. To me, this is not unisex. This is very feminine. I think on a woman, I think this would smell better. And I think if I smelled it on a woman, I think I would be more forgiving of it. But mm. when I wore it, it just wasn't my thing. You don't feel and, comfortable in, in it. Yeah, there's that. And it also, like we said, you know, it kind of goes a little old lady on me. It has that grandmother's hug, you know. It, it almost has like a sneezy hairspray quality that I don't really care for. You know, I'm always on the search for a good gardenia fragrance. I love gardenia in the wild. I've talked about this a lot. Mm -hmm. And this has gardenia in there. It says gardenia leaves, mm -hmm. so I guess it's not the flower. But it does not smell anything like I was expecting it to. I just didn't really care for it. I don't, I don't dislike this one. I just didn't love it as much as I do a lot of other Bonds. What's funny is, you know, Bond has a lot of love or hate. And mm -hmm. I, I don't fully understand the hate because I really like Bond. But I, I think this is just one that did not hit on all cylinders with me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, I can see other people liking it for sure. A friend of mine bought a full bottle and he wore it for his wedding. He absolutely adores it. Really? So, yeah. As far as the notes go, I do smell jasmine. I do smell musk. Um, I do smell, you know, like, like that quasi gardenia mm -hmm. uh, interpretation there. The citruses are like fleeting, you know, they just disappear. I do smell saffron in there. 
And I also get like banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's random. Yeah. It's like banana Laffy Taffies. If you've ever had those before, it's like the sweetest banana flavored candy you've ever had. <laughs> I love bananas, but I don't like banana candies or banana ice cream or banana. I, I'm not a banana fan. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't get the banana aroma in this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I like banana, but this, it was kind of a weird note in there. And I, you know, there's no, obviously there's no banana in here, but there was some kind of overtone in there that smelled yeah, like they, banana. Yeah, yeah. But overall, I think this wasn't my thing. I think if you like old style florals, white florals, I think you should give this a chance. It is uh, very strong. It's on the linear side. That's not a bad thing, but it's on the linear side. Overall, not my thing at all. Didn't really care for it. So Carlos, you're mentioning compliments. What did you get out of compliments out of this? I didn't get any. I just got comments of like, what smells like alcohol? And what does that smell? And who smells so strong? Who took a shower in perfume? That's right. What smells like bananas? <laughs> no, I didn't get that one, silly. <laughs> but it, people noticed it for sure. Yeah, my wife didn't really care for it. One of the things she didn't like about it was it was so strong. And I've mentioned this before, but she has more of a sensitive nose um, than other people around me. So when something is really strong, it's off-putting to her. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the things that she didn't like about it. She also said it smelled girly. And yeah. um, so, you know, maybe maybe she might wear it some, <laughs> but uh, she didn't really like that on me. Bang for buck, this is $320 for 100 mil. That's, a, that's pretty high. <laughs> that's higher than the average for bond number nine. So it, maybe it's just the cost of ingredients. Um, but uh, it's higher than normal. Listen, for somebody who does enjoy this fragrance, they're going to get their money's worth because it's very yeah. strong and it's very long lasting. So in, in that sense, you know, you got to give it to them. Yeah, I totally agree. I think you're right. There, you know, if you like this, you're definitely going to get your money's worth. That's for sure. So Carlos, final rating, what do you give this? I'm going to give this uh, 2.75, almost a 3. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, you don't want to go 2.76? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go a two. Um, this wasn't my thing. I, you know, I respect it for what it is. I think that people who like floral scents may like it. <laughs> if you like banana flavored candies, I think you might like it as well. Um, but this, to me, just it would not work in my realm. Dave, you know, you and I are around on the a lot of the fragrance boards, and this is not one that I've seen too much talk about. That's true. You know, when it comes to bond. There are some that are always recognized, but this one, I except in the Bond group. <laughs> so I don't know why. Maybe it just didn't really resonate with the audience in general like they thought it would. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I haven't seen anyone really talk about this. I haven't seen any reviews on this. So that's all we have. Let us know if you've tried B9 down in the comments down below. Did you like it, love it, hate it? Let us know. And of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We'll love you for it. And I'll have a link down below to Carlos's channel where you can go and you subscribe to him as well. Thanks again, Carlos. Always appreciate it. I'll be back soon. You know it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see you next time. We're the Fragrance Brothers. Take care. Bye. About this, I haven't seen any reviews on this. So. I did a review. <laughs> I just I put did. my foot in my mouth. <laughs> I guess you missed that one, buddy, huh? You sound yeah. like you're blushing. <laughs> I am. I am. Okay.